hello everyone and welcome back to another video so i've been lucky enough to become a brand ambassador for treasure tress which is a monthly hair product subscription box and i received my first pr box a few weeks ago so i thought i'd do a little demonstration on what you can do with the products that you get for this month here i'm just doing a little unboxing to show you what's inside they do provide you with products for every step of the wash day and i really just love the element of surprise like you never know what you're gonna get so as you can see we've got a nice tangle teaser mist spray bottle we've got a cream of nature leave-in conditioning spray designer essentials almonds and avocado conditioner they gifted me that face mask which i haven't used yet maui moisture coconut milk shampoo cantu grape seed strengthening leave-in conditioner and a cream of nature edge control in dark brown right so let's get into it so my hair is pretty jacked up <laughs> i believe this is my valentine's day hairstyle wash and go that i did in my previous video and i just restyled it using the ors color blast and sangria as you can see my hair is turning my t-shirt red and that's because of the color blasts in my hair so i'm just rinsing that off it comes out quite easily anyway and the first thing i'm going to use is this maui moisture coconut milk shampoo so as always i'm going to be washing my hair as normal i'm going to wash my roots first and then i'm going to rinse and repeat but i'm going to take that shampoo down to my ends i do like to wash every inch of my hair because i do put product on every inch of my hair so i want to wash off whatever product is on there before so i can apply these products so I'm doing my first wash and I'm realising that the shampoo is really, really sudsing up. It's sudsing up quite a lot like a normal sulfate shampoo would. It does state that it doesn't have any surfactant sulfates inside of it. I'm not too sure what that means. I'm not sure it's their way of trying to make out they don't have any sulfates in it. But um, it was sudsing up and it was drying up my hair like it was a sulfate shampoo. So I was pretty reluctant to actually pull it on my strands. But I just thought, you know what, for demonstration purposes... I'm just going to use a shampoo and see how I feel about it. So this shampoo, I won't be buying again. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it if um, I had my choice. I wouldn't buy it. It was just too stripping for my hair. I didn't exactly see any extra dryness in my hair, but the way it felt, it just felt very, very dry. And in that state, it can probably get really matted. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend this shampoo at all. <laughs> So yeah, that's shampoo out of the way. So I just shampoo, rinse, repeat all the way down to my ends, wash that thoroughly out. And then I'm gonna take this Design Essentials conditioner. See now, this conditioner is amazing. <laughs> this conditioner is amazing. I, oh, listen, as soon as I put it in my hair, my hair felt instantly soft. And my hair was just soaking all of it up. It has an okay scent, doesn't smell bad. <laughs> And I just felt like it was giving my hair extreme moisture, extreme nourishment. And it's literally just a leave-in for three minute conditioner. So do you know what I did? I went ahead and used this as my deep conditioner. <laughs> they didn't actually give a deep conditioner in the box. So I just thought, let me leave this conditioner in my hair for 15 minutes and let it just soak it all up. And that's what I did. After I applied the conditioner, I detangled it with my tangle teaser. Yes my favorite brush but i have found a con with this brush though when you're brushing your hair when your hair is wet it does get very slippery the handle gets very slippery it doesn't have any grip on it so that's the only con i would say about this brush but i still love it <laughs> so yeah i'm just detangling my hair thoroughly starting from the ends to the roots and as you can see it's a breeze i literally didn't even edit any of it out on this side that's how quick it was but i did do quite a bit of finger detangling before i just like broke up my hair in big pieces and then run my fingers through it quite a lot and then after 15 minutes i rinsed that out and it's looking amazing it actually translates on video like look how amazing this product is i definitely recommend this conditioner i don't know how much it is i assume it's expensive because it's design essentials i actually don't have any of their products so yeah i was quite pleased to have that in my box next i'm taking the cantu grapeseed strengthening leave-in conditioner i haven't tried any of this line actually from cantu i really like this leave-in conditioner but i did notice it has isopropyl alcohol in the ingredients and you remember what i said about isopropyl alcohol in my products i am not going for it <laughs> 
but in saying that my hair wasn't dry in any way and it still isn't dry I'm wearing the same twist out right now and it's not dry in any way so I don't know whether that other products counteracted that alcohol but I'll have to use it on its own to see if it's drying or not so yeah I'm just applying that all over my hair not in any sort of way I'm raking it mostly through my hair and then I'm sectioning it off to get deeper into the roots because my hair is wet it's easier to distribute the product I don't usually apply my leave-in conditioner in my shower but I think I might actually start doing it because this came out amazing <laughs> this twist out came out amazing once I finished I go ahead and twist it up and then I had a little shower cream my body and I'm back. <laughs> so once I'm out of the shower, I'll go ahead and start to style my hair. I'm gonna do half up, half down. Well, third up, two thirds down <laughs> hairstyle. Again, I clearly love these hairstyles. So I'm parting off my hair from ear to ear. So I've done a center parting and then I'm gonna do two cane rows in the middle. So I'm just parting that off as well, about an inch wide. And now I'm gonna take this Cream Nature Believe In Conditioning Spray. I've never seen this product before in my life. It's coconut based and it felt quite nourishing in my hair but I didn't expect a lot from this product but I'm just spraying it in my hair anyway because that's what's in the box otherwise I probably would have used like an edge control to cane roll my hair so yeah I'm just doing a cane roll straight back and once I finish cane rolling I just twist the ends For the sections on the side, I'm just going to spray the leave-in conditioning spray in those sections and then wet it a little bit with my water bottle and twist it up. I'm starting off with a plait just to secure the roots more to make them a bit more flat and then I follow up and finish the ends with a twist. And I'm making sure to coil the ends when I'm finished as well so it has like that nice little spiral at the end instead of using perm rolls. So I use perm rolls all the time. I just find them annoying now. So, <laughs> so I just started to finger coil the ends and it actually comes out better. So now I'm going to do the same thing to the back sections of my hair. I'm putting in four twists at the back not doing too many sections i don't like to do my twist outs with a lot of twists because that just takes too much time i don't have all day to i don't have all day to be twisting my hair i spray the leave-in conditioner and then i add a little bit more water to get the right moisture level that i'm looking for and then i do the plait and the twist what do you actually call that tweed a tweed or a brist <laughs> a brist <laughs> a tweed or a brisk whatever you want to call it and obviously as you saw before i put in my leave-in conditioner before i came out of the shower so the only product i'm really putting in my hair is that leave-in conditioning spray a little bit of oil and some water i do try to style my hair without oils not because i think it hinders the style but sometimes i just want to see what the products do without the oil because i feel like the oil actually makes every hairstyle come out correct for me anyway but today because i knew that i was just using a leave-in conditioner i was going to need some oil or some sort of heaviness <laughs> for my hair so i'm just using my hair oil mixture and then applying it to each section as well so that's all the twists done they're looking juicy and shiny and ugh. Now I'm just gonna wrap my hair up. I start off by using my edges scarf to hold my cane rows down and that whole front section, I want all my baby hairs to lie flat for when I'm ready to style. Then I just followed up and put my big bonnet over my head and that's how I went to sleep that night. So this is two days later. My hair's fully dry and it's actually getting a little bit messy, which was quite annoying because I did get some frizz because of this. I'm starting off by taking down the front twist and the twist that are in the cane rows. So I'm gonna be using some more of this leave-in conditioner on my hair before I slick it up. And I'm using some of this ORS wig glue. I think it's actually a wig glue. And I'm just using this as my gel because I do find that this gives me a much better hold than what an eco styler gel would do. So when I do like slick up hairstyles, I do like to use this instead of a gel. So yeah, I'm just putting up that front section and slicking up the sides and then I'm using a thin ponytail holder and putting that in. So once I put the front section up into the ponytail holder, I go ahead and start to unravel my twist. As the hair's frizzy, it does get a little bit more tangled than it should while I take it down like it might snag. So I'm just trying to be really careful when I'm taking my hair down and then I just separate each strand. I literally just pulled them apart and just let them separate where they naturally want to separate and i must say <laughs> my technique for my 
twist outs is pretty much perfect and i'm actually going to record a tutorial on how to get the perfect twist out because i think i've mastered it <laughs> but yeah once that's all separated i go ahead and just fluff the roots out a little bit more to get some more volume and I've added some hair jewelry onto my cane rose. I meant for the silver ones today. I actually think silver suits me a lot better than gold. But yeah, anyway. So now I'm gonna be using this Cream Nature Edge Control in dark brown. Okay, so on video, it's looking quite light, like quite light brown. And I don't like that. <laughs> it dried fine. It didn't dry like that light brown color that you can see. But I definitely do think the dark brown is good for people who have like actual brown hair. I've got the black on myself and because my hair is pretty dark, the black is fine for me. It looks better than this one that I used today. So yeah, if you want to buy that edge control, if you've got black hair, get the black one. <laughs> if you've got more of a brownish tone, get the brown one. So yeah, I'm just doing my edges as best as I could. I don't know what was going on this day. I was just really struggling with my edges. But yeah, I did what I could. <laughs> and then I go ahead and spray a little bit more of that leave-in conditioner spray on the cane rose. And then I put my edge scarf on top of my edges and the cane rose to set my edges and to try and get the cane rose to look a bit more neater. <laughs> I just left that on for five minutes. And here's the end result. Doesn't look too brown now as you can see and then we're just doing some final touch-ups and here's the finished result i hope you enjoyed the content guys if you are interested in subscribing to treasure Tress, i do have this going cold i will leave it down below my family just got back so gotta wrap up this voiceover i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>